In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to continue our look at subtitles. And this is a case where you may have a lot of subtitle text inside a project, and you don't want to use the tiny, tiny editing screen inside of PowerDirector to add, edit, or modify the content of your subtitles. There's a much faster way to do that by using another tool outside of PowerDirector and then importing the content in the subtitles. Let me show you what we mean. I'm going to click here on my subtitles to get some subtitles for this project. And we're going to click on Import Subtitles from File. We'll click on that. And this will give me a place where I can navigate to my files. You notice I have two endings. I have a file that ends in TXT or one that ends in SRT. Now, either of these are files that you can create using Notepad or any very simple editor. You don't need anything complex. We're not doing any font formatting or anything with these files. They're basic raw files. So let's look at import. Let's first of all try to import from a TXT file. I'll click on this and click on Open. Now I get an error message. There are no existing subtitles to replace. You must add blank subtitles first. What's this mean? It means that when I'm going to import a text file, and oftentimes we'll use text files, I'll, I'll tell you why text files are advantageous. They have to have a place to go. So for each line in that file, we're going to need a blank subtitle. Let's look at the files and I'm going to show you what that means. Here I'm open in my file explorer and let's look and see at what we have inside this TXT file. Again, it was created with Notepad. I'll double click on it. Now when I click on it, all I see is lines. In every single line, when I import this, will be interpreted as a different subtitle. You notice lines two and three, the content goes together, but when I actually import it, it will import those two as two distinct subtitles. So you have to keep that in mind. If I were to make this best for import, I would put my cursor here and then edit it by doing something like that. Now you don't have to have a line between them, but I find it, it just as helpful if I do something like that. So we will close it out without saving it. So that is our subtitles text file. Every line is going to be a subtitle but it needs a home. So how do we handle that? Go into my Create Subtitles manually, and we're gonna just create some boxes for these subtitle content. I click on the plus like we use in our other exercise, and it will put a pink box on the line in the new interface wherever I want these to go. And I believe I had six or seven of them. So let's create six or seven. Again, I can I'll have one start where another one is. It'll just make the first one shorter. And let's do one more here. Click here and add another one. Now I can go ahead and import from the TXT file. But how do I find the import screen? The way I do that is I need to click, widen the box, and click on the more, the three dots. I click on more, now I can import the subtitles from an SRT or text file. Let's do that. It opens up the same screen. Let's try this again. And I click on Open. OK, now I get a different error message. It will replace existing subtitles. OK, you just need to know it will do that. I want it to do that. I'll say OK. And now it, it replaced them. You notice it did not replace the last one because there was no content to do that with. And here I have each of these working the way I want to. And as we looked at in the previous exercise, I want uh, number three to be part of number two. So all I have to do is click on the third subtitle. And I click on the one that is going to give me the merge. That's this icon here. I click on this one and it will put them together. Likewise, it made it too long. So I need to click inside here, and then I can split it by, by pressing the Enter when I move my cursor, and I'll put that on two lines. So if you have a little bit of editing to do when you put stuff in in a text file to bring it in, it's pretty simple to merge uh, subtitles together or 
give one subtitle a little more room on the screen than another. So let's start all over. I'm going to delete this. I deleted all of them. Now let's look at a CRT file. Let's see how that works differently. I'll do create import subtitles from file again. Now I'm going to click on my SRT. I'll click on that and click on open. Now that did everything because I didn't need a blank spot on my subtitle track in order to make it work. It says I couldn't import some because they exceeded the length of the video. That will be one other issue I get. That's because of the timing that I had in the SRT area here. If it's too long, it won't import it. You need more length down below. So I would start all over if that were the case and I would have to change these time codes inside my file. Let's open the SRT file and see what it looks like. I'll double click on it. Again, you can create it with Notepad and you'll see how it's different. The SRT file contains three lines for every entry. The first line is the number. The second line is the time code in hours, minutes, seconds, and milliseconds. You notice between the number of frames and the milliseconds, there's a comma. And then you have a dash dash and then a greater than sign. And then you have the ending code time, hours, minutes, seconds, and milliseconds. So this is what you're going to use. Now in this particular case, because my video wasn't long enough, I would have to change these code numbers here to import all five of them. You see four of them imported. Let's go from three here to, let's change this to a three and change this to a one zero. Okay, and I'm gonna save this. And that's why I prefer working with a text file even though you have to create the empty boxes because it's a little complicated to put all this technology into, into this kind of file, but I'm going to show you a shortcut in a moment. So I edited the, the file. Let's see if I can import them now. I'm not sure, but we'll give it another shot. I'll delete everything here and we'll go import subtitles again. Let's go back to the SRT. Nah, it's still too long. Well, let's delete them again. I think I have another one that's shorter. Uh, here's an outgoing SRT. Let's click on that one and see if that works. That one worked. Okay. So that one, they were shorter. And so it worked on the timeline a lot better. The SRT saves you a lot of work in, in terms of you don't have to create a blank spot for every subtitle, but then you have to have that information in the file. Let me show you something else we're going to do. Let's take a couple of these out. I'm just going to delete them. And then we'll add a couple more. And one more just for fun. And now we're just going to create something uh, text here. See what we have. OK. And then we'll click on this one here. Another another subtitle. Here's something else you can do. You can not only import from SRT or text, you can export. I'm going to highlight all of these and then click on my three dots. I'm going to do export as an SRT file. So I'll do that and I'll do it without any formatting. And I'll click it there and I have to give it a name. We'll call this my test. And now I have that. So what I can do then, I can do import. I can do import on my test and open and it popped it back in. The other thing I can do is I can go into that import file that I just did, my test. And I see it did all the work for me. So all I need to do, if I just want to change a few things in the file and save it for later, I can edit it here in Notepad. And maybe I want to have a capital here or something else. Or I can change the time code if I really want to get picky. But if I want to edit the text and make it so I can enter it in any project whatsoever, so long as the time code is within the time restraints, now I can use the, the SRT file anywhere. So I'll click on this and save it. And let's close out of this. We'll go back. Pretend we're in another project. We're going to import it from a file. Let's take the My Test. And here we have a capital A for another on the last one. 
you can take one that you've done and export it as an SRT to save time for the future. If you want to edit it, you can bring it back in. You could edit it inside of PowerDirector and export it again. So you have all kinds of options here. But if you've got lots of subtitles, this is a really great way to save a lot of time importing and exporting text files or SRT files in PowerDirector when working with subtitles.